So with everything that's been going on and all the responses that I'm reading and seeing and feeling, it's called me to want to share with you one of my most favorite meditation practices. This is the practice of metta or loving kindness meditation. And it's a traditional Buddhist practice and I'll share with you my own creative variation of it. So I invite you to sit comfortably with your spine long and your chest lifted. Most likely with a cushion, a bolster, some kind of prop underneath your pelvis so that you feel your hips rising up higher than your knees and your pelvis can tilt forward a little bit. And that'll allow you to open your chest and lengthen your spine. It'll also allow you to have more room to breathe through your whole body from your belly all the way up to your chest. And if it feels more comfortable, more relaxing, if you feel more receptive laying down, you're most welcome to lay down right now or at any point during the meditation. This practice is really intended to help you feel more relaxed, more at ease, more at peace. So whatever you need to do right now to facilitate that, you're most welcome to do so. Once you feel ready to begin, I invite you to close your eyes. And to feel into a slow, relaxed rhythm of breath. Allowing all of the various strands of your attention to gather in this moment. To feel as though your breath is helping you to collect those strands of awareness. Bringing all of your attention right here right now. And part of what we are intending in this practice is to cultivate a more profound feeling of friendliness towards ourselves and towards others. So just begin by welcoming yourself home to your body. Welcoming yourself into this space. Welcoming yourself into this physical form. Welcoming yourself into yourself. And just know that for the next little while, there's absolutely nothing that you need to do. Just give yourself complete permission to rest, to relax, and to release. There's no way to do this meditation incorrectly. It would be very normal if you find yourself spacing out occasionally. But I'll keep repeating myself, so just know that you won't miss anything. Allowing yourself to trust that you will receive what it is that you're ready to receive today. That you will feel what it is that you are ready to feel today. If 
Feel in this moment the sensation of your whole entire body breathing. Your whole entire body receiving the inhale and releasing the exhale. Receiving and releasing. Receiving and releasing. And as you feel yourself settling deeper into yourself, you're invited to bring one or both of your hands onto your chest. Letting the warmth of one or both hands rest on your own chest. You can have them side by side or one over the other. I actually really like to cross them and interlock the thumbs. Just finding your own way to feel your hands resting near your heart. Feeling the rising of the inhale and the releasing of your exhale underneath your hands on your chest. Just really tuning into the, the softness and the tenderness of your own heart. Becoming more present with the parts of you that might be struggling today, that might feel afraid, concerned for yourself or for others. And again, the intention is just to meet yourself right here in this moment. To acknowledge the softness, the vulnerability, the raw realness of your own heart. It might help to go back in time and imagine yourself as a brand new baby, just born, just meeting the world for the very first time, totally helpless, completely dependent, unsure of your surroundings, everything unfamiliar. And just acknowledge how this little baby, this tiny little perfect little being is so deserving of love and care and protection, well-being. Totally fresh meeting this world with open arms, with a longing to be held with a primal urge to be nourished. Really meeting yourself in this place of being a brand new baby. And imagine that you could take yourself into your own heart so the you in present time taking the brand new baby you into your own heart holding that precious being 
that precious you in your own heart. And really letting yourself feel what it is to meet this part of you, this younger you. Notice if there's any resistance to the you as a baby or to holding yourself. Just being present with whatever comes up for you. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing bad. And you can keep your hand or hands on your heart for as long as it feels good. And any point when you feel like releasing them, you can let them go to your lap or out to the sides on the floor. And as you stay present with yourself, just acknowledging your own longing, your longing to have ease, your longing to feel connected, your longing to feel safe and healthy. All of these are basic animal needs. And from this place of meeting ourselves, we'll now offer ourselves some wishes of loving kindness. So you're invited to follow along with me in your mind as I recite these wishes of loving kindness. May I be happy. May I be peaceful. May I live and love with ease. May I feel healthy, resilient, and strong. May I feel safe, loved, and well cared for. May I be free of suffering and the causes of suffering. Just take a couple of breaths and really let these wishes of loving kindness sink in. Let them be received by your body. Let them be received by the tiny little baby you. Let them be received in your heart your tender heart. And let's take it one level deeper and just go for a second round now. Seeing how much more you can allow these words to really soak into every cell of your being, especially the parts of you that judge yourself or compare yourself, the places where you think of yourself as not enough or too much, the places in you that are wounded, disconnected, lonely, longing. Letting all the parts of you receive these wishes of loving kindness 
May I be happy. May I be peaceful. May I live and love with ease. May I feel healthy, resilient, and strong. May I feel safe, loved, and well cared for. May I be free of suffering and the causes of suffering. Once again, allow the words, the wishes to sink in deeply. Imagining that the resistance can begin to melt away down into the surface beneath you. And begin to shift your focus now to someone you love someone that you really care about, someone who inspires a warm feeling in your heart and your body, someone that you believe is really, really deserving of loving kindness. And this could be somebody that you live with or someone that you've never met. It could be someone who has passed on. It could also be an unborn baby or a spirit baby. It could be a pet, any animal, any single being or any group of beings. Just inviting them into your heart. Someone who you feel really deserves this feeling of loving kindness. Holding them in your heart as you did for the brand new you and sending them these wishes of loving kindness. May you be happy. May you be peaceful. May you live and love with ease. May you feel healthy, resilient, and strong. May you feel safe, loved, and well cared for. And may you be free of suffering and the causes of suffering. Noticing what arises within you as you offer this wish of loving kindness to another. Feel it in your body, in your face, in your chest, in your belly, in your pelvis.
And allow your attention now, the same loving, caring attention to shift to a being who's, who's really challenging to you, the difficult one. This could be someone that you're not getting along with right now, a family member, friend, coworker, neighbor that you have a conflict with. It could be some, someone whose decisions you have disagreed with, someone that you believe has caused harm to you or someone else. Just imagining that you could hold this difficult being in your heart with the same love and care you've held yourself and your loved one. Acknowledging that everything that anyone ever does is in an effort to avoid or relieve their own suffering. So in a way, we can start to imagine the possibility, not hanging on to any outcomes, but just imagining the possibility that if this being were to feel this experience of loving kindness, that maybe that intensity around that difficulty would begin to dissolve. All everyone wants to feel is loved and well cared for and completely accepted. So holding this difficult being in your heart might feel like an act of courage, an act of strength. You might even feel that you have to apply a lot of will here but welcoming them with your open heart, with your tender heart, and sending them these wishes of loving kindness. May you be happy. May you be peaceful. May you live and love with ease. May you feel healthy, resilient, and strong. May you feel safe, loved, and well cared for. And may you be free of suffering and the causes of suffering. Really letting it sink in. Feeling your generosity. feeling how your level of openness to this being may have expanded or contracted. This part of the practice is a part that sometimes is worth repeating. We're not going to do that right now, but When you're practicing on your own, please feel free to repeat it as much as you like, as much as you need to, to stretch that muscle of generosity and open-heartedness. And for the last layer of this practice, we're now going to take all beings into our hearts. So just imagining that you could invite into your heart all of your neighbors, your whole entire extended family, 
all the people in the city, across the state, across the country, across the ocean. And including the beings that live on the earth and beneath the earth and in the sky and deep in the ocean. Welcoming every single being into your heart. Now that your heart has softened and expanded, there's plenty of space for you to welcome in all beings everywhere. Just imagining that all beings in some way or another can receive this gift as you offer these wishes, these prayers of loving kindness. May all beings be happy. May all beings be peaceful. May all beings live and love with ease. May all beings feel healthy, resilient, and strong. May all beings feel safe, loved, and well cared for. And may all beings be free of suffering and the causes of suffering. Once again, noticing the resonance of this act of generosity and tenderheartedness. Feel whatever there is to feel here with your whole entire body. And just imagine that your practice, that our practice, that this practice can radiate out from your heart like rays of the sun, warming, softening, opening the hearts of all beings everywhere. Just giving yourself a moment to rest in this feeling, to receive the gifts of loving kindness.
Thank you for joining me for this meditation. I hope it was beneficial for you. I'm going to be offering a lot more meditations, yoga practices, laughter yoga, juicy lady circles online as we continue our time in hibernation, our time of cultivating stillness and interconnection. So please feel free to reach out to me if you're interested in any of those offerings or want to do any one-on-one -on -one meditation, yoga, relaxation, birth consultations, anything like that. You can reach me through my website, brittforman.com. And I look forward to connecting with you soon. Thank you.